You know what's interesting to me is to really examine the voting issue. And so we'll talk, we'll spend a lot of time on voting tonight. It's, it's been interesting to me to see that Latinos percentage-wise are uh, about 16 percentage points lower in participation from your average white participation in the most recent election. 16 points lower. I mean, that's insane. Why? So we want to examine that. We'll have an expert on who talks a little bit about what can be do, what can be done to bring more Latinos out to vote. And I'm a big believer in uh, on however anybody wants to vote. I, I believe that you cannot fully be a participating citizen of this country if you just give away your vote. So we're going to dig into some of those numbers. Yeah, it's really critical. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of issues, Supreme Court, not the least of which, uh, that is critical in and affected by how Latinos vote. And Latinos have a tremendous potential with their vote. I mean, just sheer numbers wise, we could leverage a lot more power. And often when I think we talk about the Latino community, we talk about the, the, the volume. There are so many more. But if you're not leveraging that number, then it's really not about power. You know, if you have a lot of people, but not a lot of CEOs, if you have a lot of people, but, but people in poverty or not people with good opportunities, then I'm, I'm not sure that that number is a, is a worthwhile count. So that's really what we'll talk about tonight. Right, and so my last question, I want to ask you about representation, and that's exactly what you were getting at toward the end. You don't have the CEOs. You can even talk about on camera. There aren't many Latino journalists on mainstream media. And often they're brought in. I mean, Rose and I, who's our executive producer, have been in this business a minute, and especially on election night, it'll be like, now immigration. Jose, Juan, Maria, come on in, right? And then it's like, they talk for five minutes, and it's like, thank you so much, and they leave. And literally, they're almost like, almost not part of the greater narrative about Latinos in this country. I mean, it, 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 it cracks me up because I've seen it year after year after year where there's no sense of, but shouldn't we be involved in all these conversations? I mean, the conversation about education, at the end of the day, there's a massive percentage of Latinos who are literally the subject of public education in America. Why are we not the face of that discussion? Why are we not the face of the housing discussion? Why are we not the face of all these other discussions? We sort of get hauled out for the immigration discussion. So uh, I think that's something that would be great to change. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.